The nanodrop uses small quantities of sample to measure the concentration and purity of nucleic acids. It is recommended that you nanodrop your samples directly after RNA extraction. Using the nanodrop requires approximately 30 minutes depending on how many samples you measure, so plan accordingly. The nanodrop is located on the fourth floor of Carnegie. The first step in the nanodrop procedure is to bring your samples to the nanodrop on ice. In addition, you should bring the solution used to elute your samples, a P10 pipetter, a box of RNAs free P10 tips, and your lab notebook. Log on to the computer adjacent to the nanodrop and open up the nanodrop software. Assuming you are using the nanodrop after RNA extraction, choose nucleic acid when prompted to choose the type of sample you are working with. You must now calibrate the nanodrop. Make sure that the sampling arm is down when the calibration is performed. When the calibration is done, make sure that the sample type is set to RNA. It will be purple in color. Wipe the upper and lower sides of the sample stage with a Kim wipe to remove any residue. This should be repeated between each sample. Then, load one microliter of elution solution on the sample holder and press blank. Clean the sample holder with a Kim wipe and pipette one microliter of your first sample onto the sample holder. Press measure. Record the concentration in the 260 to 280 ratio of the sample in your notebook. It may also be helpful to print a PDF of the screen. For RNA, the 260 to 280 ratio should be close to 2. A good spectra will have a clean peak around 260 nanometers. If you observe a 260 to 280 ratio that is far from 2, or you see a shift in the spectral peak of the graph, there may be a contamination in your sample. To ensure that the machine took a good reading, it can be helpful to repeat a bad looking measurement again, and perhaps try re-blanking the spectrophotometer.